Our pathologists are on the front lines designing the test, validating the test, making sure they're high quality and accurate and working literally 24 seven to do as much possible testing as this can be done. The pathologists are behind the scenes, the ones that are supporting the tests that are being done. You know, the regular laboratory work, the blood cultures, the blood gases, that sort of testing and behind the scenes are also pathologists. And then even further, Many pathologists are also involved in the research aspects of this. And so pathology is really involved in all aspects uh, of this disease. I think that pathologists play numerous roles during this pandemic. Clearly, a primary role that pathologists play is to oversee the quality of the testing performed in the laboratory. And that's very important at this time where we're seeing shortages and we have to come up with creative solutions. We need to make sure those solutions are still adequate for patient care and perform the appropriate validation studies. Many hospitals uh, have pathologists uh, that are uh, in the, um, the transunion service where the, where the blood is cross-matched and issued to the patients. So in the hospital laboratory, pathologists are generally the laboratory directors for the uh, blood bank where this uh, plasma will be dis distributed to the patients. The pathologist will be overseeing the orders, issuing the plasma, answering any questions about the treatment from the blood bank standpoint. So other pathologists may be involved at the blood centers in terms of collecting the plasma. Uh, or in doing the testing for you know, on the plasma to determine the levels of antibodies and, and things like that. This is an area where pathologists have a, a range of impact uh, on the whole process from collection to processing all the way to transfusion. There are very few of us that practice in a vacuum. Um, we work together as teams of pathologists to ensure that testing is accurate. We work together as, te as teams as pathologists and get each other's opinions when diagnosing different diseases in the microscope or um, using testing. This is complicated science. Um, we are very good at it and we have centers of excellence that are very good at it and we have companies that are very good at producing it so that it can be repeated on a smaller scale in smaller laboratories. But it's still complicated science. We are not a department that stands alone and works alone. We, we are in the center. We are in fact literally on the front lines with our emergency room doctors, with our nurses, to make sure that the patients who may or may not have COVID-19 are evaluated and, and taken care of appropriately. The pathologists can contribute to the health of the public by continuing to do our job the way we're doing it.